Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Mridula's Cafeteria. This is Mridula and today I have an amazing project share. This is based on Kathy Orta's The Gift with Mr. Benjamin Jr. album and I have used her tutorial and trust me that's fabulous. So I will go ahead and quickly share this project. As you can see this is a box and it's a see-through box I mean it creates an illusion but this is called the gift box it is perfect for gifting on any occasion here I have made for the Valentine gift box or you can also gift it to your friend on his or her wedding so here you can see that this box is I mean see-through the lid at the top is also see-through all 360 degrees and the bottom box is also see-through so I have decorated each and every section here as you can see so the paper used here is from dress my craft for the details of paper pack and the collections and in how much quantity is it used you can refer to the description box below and uh, sorry about the glare I was not aware that it was giving a glare but look at how beautiful the top lid looks I mean this is just classic project as you can ever imagine I had a lot of fun a lot of fun moments while creating this project I was so amazed with the quality look in the box the inside box is as beautiful as the outside cover and the outside box as you can see here now let us talk about this album this is a fabulous album though it is a small album but trust me you can, this album can hold good I mean good amount of 6x4s and under I have decorated with a glitter as you can see and I have decorated I made a collage of the uh, motifs now the album cover is a see-through album cover as you can see you can clearly see my hands there and this is beautifully decorated now this is the best way to use the um, symmetrical motif sheets available in dress my craft so you can see that that means the motif sheets are available from the left side and the right side as you can see and you can just join them and clap them and decorate something like this as a cover now look at the collage of photos that you can ever imagine in the album so all these 3x3 three 2x2 three, two two, you have 4x3 photo mat you have also this C, uh, signature cut on the key then 6x4 so all this beauty that you can ever imagine in her project so I was very much very much very much satisfied while making this project and you can see this is the undercut page and you have a little pocket but it holds 6x4 so it doesn't go over the page and you can see that it holds 6x4 so here as well the 6x4 you can uh, put pattern paper at the back or you can choose to have photos on both the sides so these tiny mini photo mats as you can see here is um, a beautiful way to put your photos in the album maintaining the beauty of the pattern paper as you can see I have uh, the pattern paper at the back and I've just made a slit and and little insertion point to put my photos there so here again the pattern paper I do not want it to disturb the beauty of the pattern paper so I decided to uh, use this pin and uh, decorate it with something like this so you put the keys and then you clip it like this beautiful now here again you can see the collage of photos beautifully designed and use of motif sheet here is the matting is like a little bit over as per the design again the clip 
fashion you all these are with the repositionable tape so you can remove the photo mat like so and place your photo and put the embellishment or glue it perfectly and then put it back on here like this so it's perfect i believe so this album is with packed with all photos as you will have when you will glue your photos inside it so this will look this much thick so this is the belly band and the photo insertion point for the photos here as you can see the beautiful place for photo mat here you can place your photo and just insert it like so now here is again the sig uh, the signature cut on the page you can remove the embellishments place your photos and then put it glue it and put it like so now again the belly band the same way as i showed earlier and uh, again this has this little insertion point for the 6x4 photos as you can see how beautifully it is matted with the pattern paper and uh, again when this opens up it becomes a collage of photo it gives you a good look of collage here you can see i haven't disturbed the beauty of the pattern paper as you can see and still you can place your photo so you don't have to glue your photos onto the pattern paper this is the idea of Kathy. So here is the pocket and you can see the 6x4. You can place the 4x3s or 4x4s also. Now look at the matting over here. I've made the signature cut and place for the photos insertion there. Now see the pattern papers are lined up in such a fashion that they coordinate with each other and contrast with each other. So the beauty of pattern paper, the photo mats, and when this will be replaced with your live photos, it will look more and more gorgeous. So all these designs, the way of decorations are inspired by her. As you can see, I have placed a 4x4 photos on this part here. Again, the insertion point created on the pattern paper. Beautifully designed and the collage of motifs are still going on as you can see. Now on this side pocket, the shallow pocket, I have created little insertion point for that 1.5 by 1.5 photo. So you can keep on going and you will feel so, I mean, so, you know, it will give you a feeling of good, serene and uh, uh, you will be happy to watch this. So that's what her projects are all about and trust me this is just a small project that I'm sharing because I wanted to do justice with her tutorial and I find it very nice and I uh, I mean I hope she likes this and also now there are many other projects that she make and she do fabulous work you can definitely and I will just recommend to go and watch her videos and look into her website she has n number of projects so see the beauty of the collage and the pattern paper the matting done here so with contrast with photos keeping in touch with the pattern beauty of the pattern paper do not disturbing the beauty and still having the room for room for photos there so here i have made a collage of photos these are all glued with the repositionable tape that means you can just remove the photo mats and place your own photos and put back and glue the embellishments there so everything that you see here the photo mats and the embellishments are with the repositionable tape here the beautiful pattern paper from dress my craft as you can see it's really really gorgeous so now I hate to say but we are at the end of this album and uh, this is the last page so as you can see here again the 4x4 and I have made the photo collage on the 4x4 again the signature cut on that couple the 6x4 pocket and now this is the new lock mechanism with the photo mat this opens up 
this is what she calls as a deconstructed envelope and here I have created a little insertion point you can place your 6x4s as well and anything under 6x4 photo mat will do here so the purpose of this deconstructed envelope is to place your extra photos you can just throw them here and then close it you can hold many photos over here just keep in mind that the album doesn't get too much fluffy so this is packed with all the photos that you can place in this album you just need to remove the white matting paper and place your photos back as they are all with the repositionable tape so here it goes inside the box and the lid goes on very easy and nicely i hope you enjoyed this do not forget to watch the still images of this project which you will adore and let me know how do you feel and how do you like my project how do you like my work and if you get a chance to visit her youtube channel or her website go ahead you will be amazed try her tutorial and you will love it trust me you will never regret to try her tutorial so if you enjoyed this video and see through of this project then I will request you to please like my channel subscribe to my channel if you haven't and comment below how you find this project and if you want any details about this project or the papers or anything I will definitely answer those so please do let me know how you like this project and my work now I will come again with another exciting project and uh, till then you enjoy happy crafting and bye bye